So you want to add plugins to your Minecraft server. Well, that's honestly amazing. Plugins are one of the coolest things that you can do to a Minecraft server. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download, install, and add plugins to a Minecraft server. However, you need the right kind of Minecraft server. Specifically, you need a paper Minecraft server. Paper is a very, very cool Minecraft server, basically, platform that allows you to add in plugins as well as get better performance out of your Minecraft server. Most servers use paper, ours included. Our public servers, they use paper. So that is why it is so important to get a paper Minecraft server. Now, I'm sure you can go here in the description down below. There's a link on how to make a paper server. This goes over everything in depth. We have both this article here as well as our video. But the easiest way to start a paper server is actually with our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we all start our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them, and you can set up a paper server in under five minutes at Apex and add plugins to it. They also have 24 hours, seven day a week support. So if you want the simplest way to get a Minecraft server on paper with plugins up and running, check out Apex at the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless though, once you've got your paper server, let's go ahead and get some plugins. In the description, we have a list of 15 Minecraft plugins that work on Bucket, Spigot, and paper servers. Technically, Spigot and Bucket also allow you to have plugins, but everyone should honestly just run paper. Nevertheless, though, this is our list. It's in the description down below, second link. And in this video, let's go ahead and install Essentials X. So we're just going to click on this link here. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And by the way, these plugins work on survival servers, skyblock servers, faction servers. They are very, very multi-server and can be used kind of anywhere. So that's something that I like to keep this list about, right, is all sorts of different servers can use these. But nevertheless, once we're here, we're also going to download Player Warps and Core Protect. So with these, we can then go ahead and close out of this and start the download process. Now, most plugins are going to be hosted here. They're going to be hosted on Spigot, right? And so once we're here, we want to click on the download button. And then right like so, it's going to take us here where we want to make sure that we download the Essentials X that's required and then chat and spawn as well. I would recommend. You may need to keep these in the bottom left or save them on the center of your screen if you're on Firefox. Nevertheless, though, at this point, we want to go ahead and download Player Vaults as well. This time, it's not going to take us to like an external download page. It's just kind of download. So we click download here and boom, it downloads. This adds in player warps, excuse me, player warps to Minecraft where players can set their own warps and warp around and check out other builds. Then we have Core Protect. Core Protect is basically a plugin that's an anti-grief plugin, right? If someone griefs your server, you can fix it with Core Protect very easily. Now let's just scroll down, click on the yellow download Core Protect button, and then click on the download now button on Spigot's website. Last but not least, we have Vault. Vault is, uh, well, kind of required in a lot of ways for a lot of Minecraft plugins. So it's very, very important that you get it. We have an in-depth guide on it here. However, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download Vault button to be taken to the download page. Now, I know this says it's not 1.18 compatible, but it is, I promise. So just click download now. Once you've got all these plugins downloaded, we need to minimize our browser and get them to our desktop just because it's easier to manage them there. So nonetheless, to do that, click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Then type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Open that up and drag and drop these plugins to your desktop from your downloads folder. Now, with these plugins on your desktop, we have a lot. We have Core Protect, Player Warps, Essentials, and all of its other sort of plugin extensions, and Vault, which is required for both Essentials and Player Warps, and maybe even Core Protect. <laughs> it's basically required for a lot of plugins. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and open up our paper server here. Now, in your paper server, you should have a plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, well, then you don't have a paper server. So you need to go make a paper server using the guide in the description or using Apex. Once you've got your paper server, though, you've got your plugins folder, open that up. To install your plugins, all you need to do is drag and drop them into your plugins folder. It's that simple. Any plugins, just drag and drop them into the plugins folder right, right like so. Excuse me. Now we want to go ahead and double click on our run.bat file to start our server, right? That's going to get our server up and running. And here we are in Minecraft, right? We're on the multiplayer menu. I will meet you here once the server is started to, uh, well, basically join this server and show you that the plugins are working. As you can see, our server is actually up and running here. I just did a failed take and uh, had to join and leave. But anyway, here we are. The server is up and running. We can go ahead and direct connect to our local host. This is just a local server. So that's how we're going to do that. I'd also recommend opting yourself if you haven't already at this point. Come over to your console and type op and then your username. Hit enter. I'm already op so it's not going to change anything but I'd recommend doing that. That way once we're in game we can do slash plugins right and that will allow us to see all of the plugins that are installed. Core Protect, Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essentials Spawn, and Player Vaults, or Player Warps and Vault are all installed showing that all six of these plugins are working. We can also let's make it daytime real fast. There we go. And we can also see that these are working in this way. So let's go ahead and place these down, for example, break a few blocks right like so. And then we can do slash CO space I and see, hey, who placed these? Where'd these go? Okay, these are the, I placed these. Who broke these? Oh, Nick broke these. Okay, well, that's not good. Let's go ahead and roll it back. So we can do slash CO rollback user and then my username. 
time is going to be like three minutes. And then action is, or not action, excuse me, and then radius is going to be like 10 blocks. So boom. And as you can see, it deletes those. And we can still see, though, that, hey, at one point I broke these and now it's been X'd out, been undone. You can also do things like set a spawn. So you can do slash set spawn, enter, and then run forward. This is going to be Essentials that's doing this. Boom. Essentials also adds in kits and all sorts of other awesome stuff. It's too much to cover in this little video here. But we also have player warps. So we do slash P warp. Bam. There it is. There is the player warp GUI. You can set with P warps and all of that stuff. There we go. Player warp set test. Oh, I don't have $500. I, I need some money. But nevertheless, as you can see, you can now do all that stuff. And we can check these config files. How do you do that? Well, that's going to be how you kind of customize your server. So here we have our plugins folder. And in here, as you can see, we have all of these different config files in these folders. This is where you can edit these. So if we double click on this, for me, it's going to open up with Atom. If you want to get the Atom text editor, it's really cool. Not sponsored or anything. I just personally like them. There is a link to our website in the description down below, which shows you how to get Atom and get it set up and all that stuff. But overall, we recommend Atom because I like it. And that's just simple as that. Virtual Studio Code, and there's tons of other code editors out there, but I just use Atom because it's light and it's just Minecraft file. So nevertheless, here's the convey for Essentials. This is where you can really customize a server. And even though you're using a lot of plugins that are public, you can make them your own. For example, if we go into Player Warps, right, which is a very public facing plugin, you can come in here and edit the language file and make all the stuff in chat something different, right? You can come through and change these. If you didn't even want these to be called Warps, you could call them something else. It is really, really cool what this can do and what these config files can really do to make a server feel more unique. But nonetheless, that is how you can make a Minecraft server with plugins. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. Again, you can do slash plugins in game. By the way, if it's green, it's working. If it's red, it's not working. If it's yellow, it's kind of in a limbo state. Basically not working. Anyway, my name is Nick. See you in the next video. Subscribe and I'm out. Peace.